guys, what's going good? Welcome back to Carville New Zealand. Today is going to be a bit of a different video uh, because we are actually going to buy a new car. the next day I'm um, sorry it got too dark so I don't really film much at night but yeah um, we'll show you what the car looks like now okay I'm walking up to it I'm gonna see it for the first time during the day well it's windy always in Wellington oh wow I haven't really seen this during the day Not really, what do you mean it's rough? What do you mean? You can walk. Go go in your Peugeot that has a faulty cook. No, what do you mean? You just destroyed my reaction video. What do you mean it's rough? What's rough about it? What? What? No, fuck you. Okay, you guys ready? Here she is. Um, I know a lot of you are disappointed as soon as you saw the hood probably because it's non-turbo But this is gonna be the new daily and just new, you know things to do to the car kind of I guess it's it's not that exciting. I know but Here's the exciting part. This is what I'm excited about is this only costs close to one grand well one grand and two hundred dollars and um, Yeah, there's a few things that need to be worked on like the rocket cover. There's a leak uh, very known uh, with Subarus that they do that, but look how clean she is inside now before we go to get into the inside I'm gonna I just had to film the reveal like this because I was in the middle of cleaning and I kind of had to film in between the cleaning process because we're doing some car archaeology or whatever it's called and I'm just pulling these out of under the bloody seats like Check those out I wonder what else is under there there's, oh my god, I do not drink and I <laughs> What the fuck? Ooh. What the fuck is all this shit? Uh, this is why people buy cars and find weird shit A pie packet, oh my god, like what the hell? What else is Oh man and I don't know where those bottles have been or been up something I don't understand but yeah I'm doing okay <laughs> okay now I've already vacuumed the boot sadly there was a dog but looks like they were good doggos because the panels aren't scratched or anything so they look really clean and tidy I'm um, obviously I have the seat like that because I was you know vacuuming so yeah other than that other than like Buying a car for one grand in New Zealand in 2019 in this condition is actually quite a deal. It's quite a steal. Um, it has brand new tyres, brand new radiator because the old radiator got brittle and cracked, so they put a brand new one. And yeah, the seat does have a rip in it, which we are going to sew today. 
because it's only the stitching that's come loose the seat is a little bit rough you know so we are going to patch that up not a problem other than that the car's actually in pretty good shape uh needs a bit of tlc here and there but you can see she's actually quite a quite a clean car if i exposed it properly then maybe you guys will get to see it hold on there you go there's she's quite clean but i just had to film that like that all came from under one seat that's just what the hell that's ugh. i want to wash my hands but this is part of detailing cars you find weird shit in them all the time whoops the front needs a bit of tlc as well like a good clean and the stone chips filled in um, I'm gonna do the classic grill mod, I don't know, I'm not sure. Might just get an aftermarket grill, but I want to cut the pieces out of it and keep the center. I don't know yet, you guys let me know what you think of that. But yeah, for one grand, for one grand in New Zealand, that this, this is quite a steal. It runs smooth, we've driven it, no problems, no issues. Um, there was an issue yesterday, the mechanic forgot to clamp the new radiator on, one of the clamps were missing, so it was leaking coolant. But I fixed that and there was a check engine light but it's gone away so I don't know if that was anything to do with the radiator or not but yeah I don't want to bore you guys I know it's nothing exciting it's not a Supra but I'm gonna give her a clean and then you know make it all nice and tidy and then show you guys once and for all Can you guys guess what this is? Hmm, a rolling paper for substance that was green that was found in the car. So this car has had possibly weed, uh, beer, um, energy drinks, dogs, cigarettes. So this car has the whole nine yards. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I forgot to film this part, but uh, so far what I've done here is this was ripped. It was open. I've been sewing it and uh, just made it like, you know, try to blend it in and um, there's still a bit of rip here uh, Just in here, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I wish I freaking filmed because this looks a hundred times better now compared to what it was We are trying to use methylated spirits and get high enough. I'm joking. We're using a Lego piece to scrape this gunk off because there used to be a monsoon or a rain guard or whatever you want to call it. And we're just, you know, rubbing it in and go scrape it. It's working actually pretty well. side and then look at that side wow that's so yellow good job high five sorry I don't wear nail polish I was just painting but that's what that looks like foggy and clear nice all right guys this looks pretty exciting look at her she's looking smart oh my god this phone video is so zoomed in it's not even funny She's been all washed up, all cleaned up. Uh, last thing you guys saw was us scraping that piece here. I'll show you what that looks like now. Absolutely flawless. Nothing whatsoever. I don't know how close I can get with this camera. But you guys can see, she's absolutely flawless on that area. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put monsoons on it. I like it, it looks quite clean uh, for a daily. Um, a lot of people probably might be wondering if there's a hole in the bumper. No, this is just the aerial random cat um, A lot more things are going to be done to this We're going to learn how to do paint restoration on this Particular vehicle because the paint on it is pretty good, but it's old and faded. So 
we're gonna learn how to do restoration because there's no dings no nothing um a few pieces need to be actually painted up like up here there's some rust spots that i need to touch up with some clear coat and paint other than that the actual clear coat on it is really good you guys can see no dings no nothing it's a very very clean wagon this bumper does need some attention back here as you can see i will be completely restoring that so yeah if you guys are excited to see this thing getting restored uh, even some interior pieces i'll make more detailed videos about it in the future but yeah i've just been here all day scrubbing away as you can see it's getting dark um it was sunny when i started but now it's dark so yeah she's she's looking really good and i'm very excited to you know bring this onto the channel so if you have any suggestions or anything let me know peace